short while back I um, I dropped some crumbs onto uh, the uh, onto the surface of my computer here and uh, they got down into the little um, into the crevice of the button of the touchpad and so they were interfering with the operation of the button and uh, I went online to try to figure out uh, how it is that I could remove this button to clean underneath it and I couldn't really find any information out there and um, what I did find said that you had to open the computer from the bottom which didn't make any sense to me and um, I don't know, so I just, you know, I just futzed around with it for a little while and finally I came up with a solution. So I figured I would make a video and show whoever needs the uh, information on how to clean under this button, uh, the information on how to clean under the button. Now, uh, with my situation, it was just some crumbs. And so, you know, that you can just like, you know, once you get the button up, you just, just like, you know, blow the crumbs out of there or whatever. But, um,. If you have, like, if you spilt some, like, soda under there or something like that, then you might have to, like, clean it with something wet. And what they recommend for cleaning electronics is at least 90% alcohol. So, like, rubbing alcohol would do, or, um, I don't know, if you have any other type of alcohol that's 90% pure, then, you know, whatever it is, that, that's good enough. And, uh, this is how you get the button up. Okay, um... Now there's there's a tab there, there's a tab there, there's a tab there, and there's a tab there. And uh, how you locate the tab to be able to pry it up, okay, you put like a, put a blade into the crack, and then uh, you can like slide over the blade until you, until you reach the tab, and then you'll come to a stop, and then just pull, pull down, and so I'm, I'm pulling in this direction and then up so I already popped it out you can see how the buttons popped up from the side there okay so um, once you get that one out then you do the opposite side and uh, I don't know, basically you wanna bring it up like that okay so that's the other side, and then you got to do the two tabs down here so you can uh, actually look underneath it. And uh, this is something that you want to be real careful about: is that you don't just pull the button out of here after you get all the tabs popped out because it's connected. I don't even know by what by something over here, and so you can't really remove. You do this bottom one first, and then that uh, the next one comes out. Okay, and so then you should be able to look under there to be able to clean it. And, um, you know, if you use, like, uh, you know, you can just blow under it if there's, like, you know, uh, if what it is is dry and not sticky. And, um, I don't know, once you, once you get a, a uh, or you might have to reach under there with, like, you know, some type of cloth or maybe, like, a Q-tip or something with some alcohol on it. That'll work to clean it. Okay, um, if you put the bottom tabs back in first, you can see uh, the top tabs are not back in yet. And then uh, you just push, the, push this one down in, that should get it in. And then this one, just push it in and it'll snap right in. And you can see the button should be, you know, for the most part, flush. And uh, you know, it's a working button. So that's all there is to that.